Yo, what's up, guys? So the Wiz devs just tweeted out something. There's going to be a new update tomorrow, February 22nd, uh, around 5 a.m. that is going to address a lot of the issues that the community has been bringing up recently, which personally has brought me to the point of where I'm not even playing PvP at this point. Uh, I'm having no fun with the game at all, so I just kind of gave up completely. But there has been some notes that a lot of people are talking about that look to you know kind of put pvp to the bright side so i'm going to be going over those today what some of them mean because some of them are not very clear on what they actually mean and i'm just going to kind of explain that for you so um as you guys see pvp versions of the highland gear have now been updated now i did confirm this with cam uh, one of the designers directly that this is not going to update the actual gear to 160 it's just going to audit the gear so back when we saw the first round of gear audits we didn't see any change of the highland gear all this means is that they're going to slightly change it the gear is not going to be usable at all uh, it's going to be still at 150 so it's not going to matter apparently there was a glitch at the final boss where a dot spell um, did not unpolymorph the team properly, but so apparently that's now been fixed. And then a trap on the Tetzel spell for Myth, the Caramel spell, should not trigger as normal. It's just small stuff. No one really uses this in PvP, so that didn't, you know, not really a focus of mine. So, but hey, now I'm going to get into the kind of the meat of the update. Uh, removed chromatic effects from the following spells. So I'm going to explain what this means. So as you guys know, as of like right now in PvP, you know, let's say I'm on a Life Wizard and I use Betrayal, it will give me Life Traps. Originally, when Rochambeau first dropped, this gave myth traps. And about two months ago, they changed this, as a lot of you guys know, to give you know traps to the school you're on. So this has been a huge problem in PvP recently, especially with like the increased damage, because a lot of schools would just betrayal once and then just start hitting through shields with almost no you know penalty. So basically what they're what what removing chromatic effects means from these spells is betrayal and delusion now specifically will give only um, myth traps, so it will not be doing what it does now. It's going to go back to the original effect. Same with Read the Whirlwind. It's not going to give, you know, the Universal Blades is going to go back to the Storm. Uh, Backfire is going to give, Backfire is going, and Meltdown are going to give Fire Overtimes instead of the School Overtimes, which is really good, especially if you're looking to do more, you know, trap stacking strats and you don't want to take your buffs off. With Backfire and Meltdown, you can use this to remove shields. Super happy with this, especially um, because I use these in my Dual Circle games, so I'm super happy that these are being changed back, especially with Betrayal and Delusion, because it's going to slow down the meta a lot because of how fast-paced it is right now. The damage, there's nothing mentioning damage directly with, like, on the gear, but taking away, you know, free 40 buffs for every school is going to change the meta a lot not only deck setups but certain schools are going to be nerfed a little bit like death and storm so super happy to see this um i'm, I'm going to explain what this means so basically all this means is you know spells like this that have rochambeau's added onto it so stuff like minotaur i'm going to use minotaur as the the main the main point i'm going to be using so utility path so right now as you guys know minotaur has a betrayal after the hit so it does a small hit the, the big hit and then it betrayals off three shields and leaves three myth traps so all this means is now those chromatic traps are going to be applied to minotaur so for example just super basic if a storm and after this update wants to get your 40 percent storm traps you're going to have to use minotaur to get them so you're no longer going to be have to just you know you can just spam a three pip spell which is, is a nerf because I don't really see anyone doing this along the line. You know, maybe Storm because without Betrayal and Delusion, Storm is probably not as good as they are right now in any sense of the word. So maybe they'll, they'll move into dual schooling into Myth and use this legitimately. I don't think so because five pips to devote on that is a lot when you could just maybe use it, you know, to use something else to set up a gambit or something like that. So I don't really see people using Minotaur for the betrayal. Maybe I'll be wrong. This does, you know, buff Myth's school identity a little bit as they've been lacking because Myth's school identity is supposed to be the minion school, but minions, as most of you guys will know, are currently banned. So basically, all this means is, you know, a lot of the spells like the utility spells like the hit utilities and the four pips and five pips spell elements are being changed to where they are going to have the rochambos added to them where they're chromatic and the original spells that are just kind of being spanned in pvp right now are going to be reverted to how they were when rochambo first dropped so that's basically it um unfortunately no gear changes that is still you know the beginning of february so nothing here various animation fixes nothing major and then you know so a couple of stuff that no one really cares about so that is all i do encourage you guys to log on and maybe try the pvp meta if you want to hopefully something changes hopefully it's better i will be giving my opinion on it in the next few days i'm going to try it out myself uh, but other than that i will see you guys in the next one